I'm here to talk about the race-based mascot. My name is Diana Peterson, and I'm a non-tribal member of the Congress of the Bochum and the Nations. I'm here to talk about the race-based mascots. I am a survivor of adoption and a survivor of an alumni of the Seymour Indians. I'm here to encourage the school board members to consider changing their name and the Indian logo to create positive reinforcements of McGonagall culture. This process entails community planning meetings with the current McGonagall community members, school board, students, and the envisioning charrette. Do you, as board members, realize how innovative this will be, not only for you, but for your future generations? You will be designing, defining, and creating a new image. This school board will be defining their own culture and their own way of life. Away from the Native American stereotypes, caricature logos, and taunting calls. I survived this during my high school years, through games, as a cheerleader, and a pom-pom girl. I am much stronger for this. However, I will end by sharing that my father who adopted me was a father that I love very much. He was a principal for the Seymour High School for 29 years. As he was ready to retire, the students came forward themselves and asked to change the name to Seymour Thunder. This was during the early 1990s. They are now known as the Mighty Seymour Thunder. My wish today is for the school board to be the next school and community to change their name. Since, <clears throat> since McGuanago is the place of the bear, how about the Grizzlies or Kodiaks? As community members, I hope this will be a guide for the future students here to embrace a name that best defines the city of Makuango and a better culture. Thank you. What was your name, I'm sorry? Diana Peterson. Thank you.